Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I'm going to show how you can run Windows 7 with internet in your Android with using Limbo PC Emulator. So, without any wasting of time, let's get into the video. In this video, I'm going to show how you can run Windows 7 in your Android with using Limbo PC Emulator. The good thing of this Windows 7 is the internet is perfectly working. And the another good thing of this Windows 7 is you can run any PC software uh, in this Windows 7. So in this video, I'm going to show how you can run the Windows 7 and how you can access the internet and how you can open any software. So in this video, I'm not going to show how you can access internal storage because it will going to take some time or it will going to take lower, it will make the video very lengthy so in this video i'm just going to cover the how you can run windows 7 in android and how you can access the internet there are a lot of videos on my youtube channel that i have shown how you can run any windows in your android like windows xp windows vista or windows 7 windows 8 windows 8.1 or windows 10 windows 11 so this is the another version of the windows 7 and in this window uh, windows 7 the internet is going to perfectly work so the that's why i'm making the video this is the uh, windows 7 version supported by the internet and there are a lot of videos on my youtube channel i have already uploaded you can check out my youtube channel so uh, in that videos i have shown how you can run windows xp with internal uh, to internal accessible internal storage accessible and how you can get internet the another version they have uploaded the other uh, uh, different different versions of the windows so you can check out my channel if you want to access internal storage you can check out my previous video and in this video i'm going to show how you can run windows 7 with the internet so internet is going to perfectly work so that's why i'm making this video so let's start the procedure that how you can run windows 7 in your android and how you can access the internal storage in that so first of all you have to download and install the application called limbo pc emulator so let me just kick a quick brief of this application so this is the uh Limbo PC Emulator application and a uh, emulator application for Android. So as you can see, this is the application. Let me just open. So this is the all interface of this application, and this is the very basic uh, application to use. Uh, there are a lot of emulators uh, on internet to use for android but i am using limbo pc emulator because limbo pc emulator is very easy to use and understandable uh, interface so i am showing this because everyone can use if anyone want to run windows in android they can use this application very easy to use that's why i am using limbo pc emulator application so uh, to run windows 7 you have to download this application without this application you cannot run windows 7 in your android so while using this application in this application we are going to run windows 7 so this is the application the downloading in the description you have to download and install so this is the application while using this application you can run any type of os like windows uh, linux mac os android also so i have uh, i have uploaded a lot of videos on my youtube channel while using this application i have run windows and linux and many versions of the linux and the mac os also i have run many os's in the this uh, application in Android with using this application so after downloading and installing this application limbo PC simulator after the downloading the description you have to download the Windows 7 file as you can see in this screen this is my internal storage and this is the uh, WL so the Windows 7 uh, light VHD file so it will be approximately 1.5 GB you have to download it it will be approximately 1 GB after extracting you will get this file 1.66 GB so make sure you extract it in the Android internal of your phone so after downloading both the files and installing the limbo pc emulator application so you have to open so you have to follow all this uh, uh, steps while i'm showing so make sure before opening limbo pc emulator application you have to enable the internet wi-fi i'm uh, enable my wi-fi you have to open the limbo pc emulator application and it will all also going to work with the mobile data so this is the application now you have to follow all the steps which i'm going to show so this is the limbo pc emulator application now you have to click on the none you have to click on the new you have to create the machine name i am going to give this machine name windows 7 so i have given life click on the custom it's very easy interface to use anyone can do that you have to skip the inter user user face and you have to get into the board in board you have to select the cpu model uh, i am going to select about code studio so this will be very suitable for the windows 7 and core cpu cores i am going to select four cores and you have to select the ram a ram i'm going to select about 1500 mb of ram it will be suitable for the windows 7 and my android phone as well ram will depend on your smartphone specifications if you have enough ram in your android phone you can select uh, as much as you can ram but if you're having very less ram in your android you can select less ram uh, uh, if you select if you after doing all the steps if you click play button if uh, the limbo will shut down you have to decrease the ram so this is the bug you have to make sure you keep in mind and you have to click on the enable mttcg you have to uncheck the able tsc 
so this is the settings you have to do in the board now you have to so now you have to get into the disk you have to click on the none you have to click on the open you have to just click so it will open your android install storage so, so now you have to locate the windows 7 file here which we have downloaded from the downloading the description so this is the windows 7 file i have to open vhd file so make sure you are selecting this correct file uh, you have to select in the disk a now you have to get into the boot you have to boot click on the boot from hard disk you have to scroll down you have to get into the network after clicking network uh, you have to click on the none you have to click on the user uh, network we are selecting the network card because the internet is going to work in this windows 7 so as i mentioned earlier the main mode of the video is making the reason behind this uh, making video is that this windows 7 is supported by the internet that's why i'm making this video so now you have to get into the network you have to click on the network user you have to click the network uh, card rtl 8139 so this is the uh, card you have to select in the network and rest you can skip this audio you can select the audio card for this video i'm showing the internet that's why i'm sorry, I selected the audio card a network card for this video i'm showing you internet that's why i'm selecting the network card you can select the audio you can select the graphic card also but for now i'm skip, uh, skipping this because uh, uh, everything is working fine without that also so before booting up i'm let me just uh, turn on the screen rotation turn my android phone so you can get the better view for the better understanding so let me just set up the camera and come back again so as you can see in the screen this is the limo pc emulator application i have done all the settings uh have you have to follow the same settings if the, the settings doesn't work you can change the settings according to your smartphone you can change the ram you can change the cpu model uh as you can see you can also change the network card but the this uh, windows 7 is also going to only going to work with this network card so make sure you have enabled the internet before going to boot after doing all the settings and enabling the internet you have to click on the play button after clicking play button as you can see the window it will saying booting from hard disk it means the windows has been successfully detected and it will saying uh, you have to cl click to back you have to click on the enter so it will going to boot for windows in the safe mode so it will going to boot the windows now here you, uh, uh, you have to wait because the windows is booting up here it will going to take some time few moments so you have to wait and as you can see the uh, microsoft corporation the boot logo appear here So as you can see in the screen, finally the Windows 7 has been successfully booted in my Android. And the good thing of this Windows 7 is the English. This Windows 7 is in the ling English language. And as you can see, this is the uh, desktop of the Windows 7. This is the start button. Let me just click on it. As you can see, and this is the uh, very good and quick, fast working Windows 7. So just now, I've pressed the volume down button. While using the volume button, you can use it as a mouse. As you can see, while volume up button, you can use this as a select button and volume down button you can select for get the more options in so as you can see the windows 7 is still booting up while using the volume down button you can uh, get the more options like uh, mouse right click and left click Mo volume down button will be the mouse right button and volume one but up button visible as a mouse uh, left button so as you can see uh, let me just show you the internet is detected successfully detected by this windows 7 as you can see in the screen so as you can see this is the uh, window windows 7 and this is the driver of the internet has been successfully detected so there are some preloaded softwares now uh, first of all let me just uh, show you the properties of this windows 7 let me just click the properties of the computer As you can see in the screen this is the windows 7 professional uh intel we have selected the intel core 2 duo cpu and ram will be 1.47 it means 1.5 gp and 32 bit operating system so this is the 32 bit uh, 32 bit uh, version and this is the all the properties of the pc and this windows 7 is the professional server pack one is in the english language so we have checked the properties of this windows 7 now let's just open the firefox which is the browser of this windows 7 and then now let us the internet is working or not uh, the driver has been detected by this windows 7 and i have enabled the internet 
Now I'm going to open the uh, Firefox which is preloaded in this Windows 7 and they have some other preloaded softwares which uh, I'm going to show how you can use that not much uh, preloaded software has been uh, already preloaded over here which is the uh, mozilla firefox and the c c cleaner uh, software just now open the firefox and it will take some time because for very first time it will going to take some time we don't need to worry about it after a, a few uh, minutes it will going to work very fast and open everything very fast and as you can see this is the firefox uh, browser has been successfully opened uh, in my Android phone. This is the PC, PC version of the Firefox uh, opening in the Windows 7 and as you can see so this is the search engine of the Firefox so I'm going to uh, go get into the search bar of this browser I'm going to type uh, www. I'm going to open the google.com search engine for you to show that so as you can see this is the google search engine now just now I've click on it now let's see let's see the internet is working or not make sure you are connected with the internet at the moment internet it is slow so as you can see the google search engine has been opened it means the internet is perfectly working so as you can see this is the limbo pcm router application this is the windows 7 let me just uh, click on the start button so as you can see this is the uh, uh windows 7 this is the uh firefox and this is the google search engine perfectly working now let me just search something in the google search engine to show you whether internet is fully working or not so let me just click on this google search so as you can see the internet is perfectly working in this uh, windows 7 so as you can see this is the uh, browser successfully internet is working as you can see so let me just close uh, so just now i've closed the firefox so now i'm going to uh, open the software which is another software preloaded cc uh, c cleaner so now i'm going to open that software now let's test so the software is working or not as i mentioned earlier this windows is perfectly working with the internet and the other software so i have touched the internet is perfectly working now i have to open the ccleaner software let's see if it's working or not the internet is perfectly working and the software is also going to work in my upcoming video i try to show how you can get the internal storage access in this windows 7 and how you can install other software uh, which you want to install like uh, Microsoft Office like Chrome Chrome is a very good browser to use in the Windows 7 so soon I'm going to make a video on how you can install in a Chrome browser and how you can access internet in this Windows 7 so as you can see this is the CCleaner software has been successfully opened this is the uh, Windows PC software I've opened so the software is perfectly working it's getting some trouble at the movement but the software is perfectly working I have checked you have to wait over here so as you can see the software has been opened and it's perfectly working so let me just close this software and soon i am going to make a video on how you can install other software and how you can get, get the access of the internal storage of your android in this windows 7 so you can access the all the files and you can do a lot of work uh, like a real pc so as you can see this is the uh, fully working windows 7 in android with the internet is also perfectly working so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you want question or problem let me know in the comments thank you